Good morning. Headed out to Dover to do a ride with a group out there, Justin, Martha Lowe, and crew. And um, <clears throat> look, I, I try to give a lot of tips, like things are working for me, whether it be supplements or you know training tools, whatever it might be. Today is probably more of a warning than a tip, and I came across it ratherly, une rather unexpectedly, uh, I guess you could say. Now, I've done creatine in the past um, and and had no problem. I actually had good results. At least I thought. I wasn't monitoring with a aura ring every, um, you know, 24 hours a day. But I've got, of course, my Garmin uh, watch on, uh, the Phoenix, and then I wear the aura ring. So all my data, my heart rate, my heart rate variability, my sleep, my, I mean, everything, my respiration rate, everything's being tracked. So I'm, I'm very conscious of what's going on with my body. And so I decided to do another kind of cycle of uh, creatine, which I'm, again, I've done in the past. <laughs> and uh, so it's been about a month now. Creatine builds up over time and stays in your system. So a big half-life and um, it takes a while to build up and then it's there for a while. So I started doing it and uh, I didn't correlate the data but slowly my resting heart rate began to rise overnight. And my normal resting heart rate overnight, if I'm in, you know, not depleted from just a, you know, a six hour ride or something like that, it's gonna be around 43 plus or minus two. Uh, generally 40 to 45, somewhere in there. And I noticed that I hit 46 one night, but then the next I got is 48, 48 again, 49, 50. 52 and then I started to get a cold I got sick and I had another just out of the blue bout with AFib I went into AFib for 24 hours while I was in AFib I went to the ER they put me on the EKG the whole deal I came back in rhythm on my own but they told me that my creatinine levels were high while I was there I was 1.4 uh, which is which is pretty high and uh, so they, the, the most common thing if your creatinine uh, levels are high, it's generally, it's a kidney function test. So uh, my, my kidneys aren't cleaning uh, my blood. And so <clears throat> they said, you're dehydrated probably. So they gave me an IV and sent me home. And they told me to follow up my primary care provider to get my referral renewed for my cardiologist. So I continue on, didn't think anything about it. Got my referral for a week later, go into my primary care provider and she says, hey, you know, in those labs, your creatinine is high. I want to, um, I want to just redo that blood test and see where we're at. And this is a week later. On that one, I'm 1.5. And she's like, whoa, that is not good. We, we, that, that's too high we need to really watch this and she asked me everything I was on and I told her everything I was on except I didn't even think about creatine and uh, started doing some uh, started looking and doing some um, you know research uh, online and I saw that creatine it commonly will raise uh, your creatinine levels and so I just quit and she had me do a follow-up want to do a blood test again in two weeks so I start coming off a couple days delay because it's in my system and then I go down my resting heart rate 48 46 45 43 and I'm like direct correlation to the creatine I take it out my resting heart rate overnight goes down I got my results back yesterday from my labs that we redid after two weeks I was a 1.0. And so unquestionably, uh, the creatine in me, and it may not do it in you, but I'm, this is, this is uh, I guess, the warning or tip. Um, it's known to do this, um, but you know, I, I felt an effect. I felt more lethargic, I felt tired. I wasn't sleeping as well. My resting heart rate went up. Whether it caused the AFib or not, I don't know. Could have been the cold, I was sick. Um, but bottom line, uh, for me, no more creatine. Uh, I'm done with it. And so uh, just be aware. Free cheese. Have a good one. Keep moving.